Hey guys, it's me Aaron here. Today I'm back with another YouTube video. So, I'm not really planning to make a YouTube video because my day's been very busy. But this guy named Super Benny, he's been commenting a lot. He's a big fan, so shout out to him. He asked me when I'm going to upload three hours ago when I was super busy at like 4 o'clock. And I just replied to him that I think I'm going to do a piggy tutorial. And let's do a piggy tutorial. Okay. Now that we're on, I'm going to show you people. Wait, I have liked piggy, right? Okay. So, we, you can do this in like a public server on any game mode. Just letting you guys know. So, if you want to be able, uh, if you want to be able to get these skins, just follow my instructions. They're not too hard. So, I just have my alt on. So, the first skin that I'm going to be showing you guys how to get is my, is the skin, uh, Mr. Stitchy. So, you just need to do forest on any game mode. So, you don't have to do, like, player plus spot, like, in the true ending. So, just do any game mode you feel like. So, now we be on forest. So, you're going to need to complete forest and get a few extra items, just saying. Oh, yeah, and they decorated the maps with some Halloween decorations, which I think is pretty cool. Okay. Hi, everyone. What is this? Oh, I just spammed random words over and over. You're going to need to be getting all of the candles in the forest map. So, just follow my tutorial. So, first of all, you just want to keep on piece by piece completing the map. Because if you want the skin, you do need to complete the map. So, yeah. So, the first actual candle is behind this piggy spawn right here. This is where you're going to be doing the ritual kind of thing for Mr. Stitchy and the piggy spawn. So, the first candle is behind here. It makes a sound when you collect it. The next candle is actually up in this tower. <laughs> okay. Got him. And then, of course, you do need to complete the map. So, we'll still be doing the puzzles and keys and stuff. And see, the candles that we have have been appearing here. I'm just going to move Piggy on my alt away. Okay. So he doesn't get in the way of the ritual. I don't know if that matters or not. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So the next two candles are over in this area. Changed. Changed. I also learned that you could, like, jump up and crouch through vents, which is actually pretty cool. I never knew that before. Well, I actually knew, learned that a little while ago. Not, like, maybe a few weeks ago I learned that. I just wanted to point it out because it looks fun. But, well, I know where, I know why you're all here. The candle is behind this one right here. It's, like, across from the red door. It has, ooh, and this is nice. <laughs> okay, so if you want the next, oh yeah, so we're going to be needing this torch right here soon. So this is the fourth candle inside the cave. So now we're almost done with the ritual. Now we need the, oran the orange key, the orange key. Hmm. 
<laughs> and if you guys find the orange key before me, just unlock this place and inside the tent is the last candle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, I'm not actually probably going to be beating the map, but since I already have a skin, but mm, I might actually just beat the map. So, <laughs> all we need now, once you get the five candles, is the torch. But then you're going to just escape the map normally once it's happened. So you get your little cup thing that the fire is going to go into. And I think this is a shortcut to the fire, because I remember there being, yeah, here we go. So we just throw this into the fire, light it, and then we get the torch. <laughs> So now we make our way to the little piggy spawn So now all five candles. Oh yeah, and I think they just add the snow because I've never seen it before. Do not draw the house with light. It will draw him too. Oh, hey, stop. So guys, this bot can actually hurt, kill you. So you're gonna step back once you light them all. Light one. Or I think you, I don't know if you can walk into them, so just don't hold it and then tap the candles. I wonder if I can tap the candles. No, I can't. Well, the last candle. Then this will happen. So this is the skin that you're going to be unlocking. He has some nice music, too. I think it's like ice cream music. He has a lantern too. Oh yeah, and an Easter egg. I saw there, he's in the alley, he's cut scene in the alley. So now there's gonna be a portal here. Just to get him into the portal, I'm just gonna use this torch here. But you just run behind the portal and to, when he tries to kill you, he'll just run in. That's how easy it is. Ease. So now you just need to escape the game regularly. The only reason I'm doing this is because, well, I'm actually escaping the map. I already have the skin, so the reason that I'm doing this is because I need to save up for some more skins. Even though I, not, this is not a flex, I do have every skin in ever, in 2,000 pig tokens, but I'm going to save up a lot because I don't want to waste some valuable pig tokens. If I remember correctly, I just need to use the blue key and use the wrench and then escape the blue key. Blue key. Was in, I think I might have left it. Oh yeah, I left it over here. <laughs> I remember that's where I left my wrench. So in this round, oh, I thought we could look into the building from here. But in this round, I guess the green key was useless. If you find the blue key, and red key without having to unlock that room. I'm pretty sure that means that you don't even need to unlock the green room. But tr do it if you can't find any other items. I don't recommend doing it, but okay. Where, where, where do I put this blue key? You can just skip further until I'm at the main menu again and because this doesn't really matter too much. You are just going to see me escaping. Or if you feel like it, you can watch me do this. Hmm. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, and they did add some Halloween decorations. And they even added tombstones right here in the forest. Oh, yeah, and you see these? They... Honestly, look a bit like Christmas lights for some reason. But I guess, I thought they were blue, but I guess they're purple. So they are Halloween colors, so I forgive them. Just like normal, we escape the forest map. 
I heard the cha-ching when we get him through the portal. Uh, when I watched YouTube tutorials, it told me that I had to escape for some reason. But okay. I'm just going to wait for some people who probably skipped and... Okay, I'm going to start telling you how to get... Okay, guys, we just completed forest. And the next skin is... Well, trap. Well, the, there's two other skins. Pump piggy and grove you can just purchase those but now we're on to the limited time trap the tombstone traps so what you want to do is head to your book two game once again any game mode public server whatever you prefer but you need to do it on alleys that's the rule set the map chapter one game mode player and set the piggy is me Oh, I'm on the board, so. Mm. Okay. I'll be waiting to get back to you. See you later, wavy face. I want to see you next year. Haha, <laughs> next week. I'll join the Red Diamond and Rainbow Hunt this season with a new badge of parrot. What? Paradise? How did that even get up there? I was giving them the Hi, this emoji again. It was a good day for the kids to come over then. For the day. Yeah, I guess that does make sense, but the first one doesn't. Aaron, plays. Phoebe, plays. So, in the cutscene, and just watch, once we move our perspective in the back alley, we'll see Mr. Stitch very clearly, but he's black. Yeah, you see him? He's in the alleyway. He's very tall, so we know it's him. I actually noticed this before I even got Mr. Stitch. I'm pretty sure he appears in every single one. So you're going to need to find pieces to connect a skeleton together to get the trap. The first piece spawns in hair. Behind this chair, it's an arm. Okay, the red key isn't in here this time. So, now that we've got that, we're going to want the next one. But, oh yeah, and I just want to say in this map, you don't actually need to escape. You can just die by piggy after you get it or something. So, now, you come into this new looking building, I think. Oh yeah, you come in here. To these types of rooms. Ooh, let me just grab that. That's going to be useful. Ooh. <laughs> okay, right in this room right here. The one with the table. You'll find it looks like a leg right here. So you just pick it up. Okay, so there's also something in here. So you're going to want to have that unlocked. And you're going to need to swipe the floor with the broom. Wait, can anything even spot in here? Well, nothing goes in there, but let's just check here for anything. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to make a pit stop here because sometimes the orange key's here. But see, we're forming a skeleton. We are going to need some more parts of him, though. So that's where we go back after we get all the parts and the special item, which I'll reveal later. Okay, I think I know where it is now, because I can't find the orange key anywhere else. I think it's here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, the next piece is in this room. Right here, you find the torso. Oh, yeah, and you should definitely take the scissors, but you will need the yellow key for this unless, you know, you glitch like me. But, yeah, so you come in here. It kind of blends in a bunch, but you come back here. Wait, is there anything? Mm, oh, the broom's there. That's good. So if you look very closely, you can, like, see the bone. I, it's a leg, I think, right here. So you take that. So I think all we need is the arm and the head now. So now we're just going to... This doesn't actually give you the head and arm yet, but this will be the special item that we'll probably need at the end, that we're going to need at the end. I hope to say probably, of course we will. So in this plant, a rose will spawn. You'll see what we do with it after. 
But you guys know that if we want to start playing even more, we're going to need the blue key. And I think I know where this so known as the blue key is. It wasn't back there, so it's up here. Okay, so now we actually have the materials for the last two bone parts. Oh, wait, not yet. So if we want the last two bone parts, we just have to go into this washing machine room, open up the green door, and cha-ching, cha-ching. We found, looks like an arm. And then, cha-ching, cha-ching, the last thing that we need is the rep. Well, the screwdriver. If you want, you can just make sure you, I think it matters if your camera's on full or something. Like, right up here, hit the top camera mode. Set to follow, just in case. So you zoom in and back up, and then zoom your camera out, and there. So if you can't find the yellow key, then you can just do that. So, yeah. Now we're basically almost done. All we need to do is just go and do this room right over here. Then, ching cha ching, you found the head. Ching ching. Now the skeleton is fully built. You can go check them out if you want, but I don't really want to waste too much time. I don't want this video to be too tedious and long, but as you can see, the rose. So you take it, it won't be in your inventory, you'll still have the screwdriver or whatever you have currently. So you, if you want to know where the skeleton is, then just go to this hotel place, you know, right over here. It's also over by the TV shop, you, you know where this is. An orange key spawn location right here, and see the fully grown skeleton? We'll tap his hand, and you'll, and then just wait. You'll hear a cha-ching sound, which means you've unlocked it. But I didn't hear the sound because I already unlocked it. So that, so then you can escape the map if you feel, you can die, you can leave, whatever you feel like. I'm just going to give my alt account to pig tokens so you can afford some stuff besides Ghosty. I remember Ghosty was a popular skin and it was new. So now, if you check your skins extra, you'll have Mr. Stitchy and you'll have these traps. So this, these traps actually make a zombie piggy temporarily trapping the player. You only have two of them though. So it makes a temporarily zombie piggy. And there, there's a cool down of like one second, which is cool. So you can basically place two of them and then two zombie piggies will event. Well, after a few seconds, two zombie piggies will come out. And then after like maybe like 20 seconds, maybe they'll fall into the ground. And it actually looks really cool of them climbing out and then falling back down. <laughs> and I'm just in my Piggy 2 settings. I really hope hard mode comes soon. And then Mr. Stitchy. He's actually, I'm pretty sure, like the tallest skin ever and the skinniest one. Most of them use the same models and stuff. Like this one uses Budgie's model. This one uses the regular pig model. Like most of them use a dress model and some stuff like that. But this one actually uses a skinnier one and a taller one, which I really love about the skin. I've already tested these out. So if you feel like you can go test it out or and use them for your everyday piggy games. I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, Big fat shout out, well, a big shout out to Super Benny. He, yeah, when are you going to upload? Yeah, I think you'll see this video coming out on my channel. Uh, well, bye. Make sure to like, sub, and yeah. Bye.